Um, my name is Kaspar van Au. I'm from the German School of Journalism. I'm here at the Berlin Foreign Policy Forum of the Kerber Foundation. I'm sitting here with Jane Harmon, the President, CEO and Director of the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. Uh, Ms. Harmon, what do the US expect from Germany or respective Europe, uh, European foreign policy to change in the future? Well, let me say first that Germany is a very close ally of the United States. And people in the United States admire Chancellor Merkel and the German government for the steps it is taking to uh, help the European Union survive and to help develop a policy with the United States to confront the challenge of Russian aggression in Ukraine. What do we have to change in the future? Uh, I think the, the relationship has to continue. Uh, there are challenges like uh, NATO and the unequal contributions of member states to NATO and Germany can help resolve that problem. The United States pays a huge share of NATO costs and yet NATO is the protector of uh, uh, security in Europe. So uh, Germany can help with that problem and that is a challenge. I also think it is very important for Germany and the United States to work uh, very closely together uh, on the Ukraine challenge and on the Middle East. Um, so there are some crises going on in the world right now. What do you think is the most challenging right now? Is it the Ukraine or is it the Islamic State? I think they're both very challenging and Russia plays a role in both of them and I think it is important for us to think strategically, not just tactically. We can't uh, view one problem in isolation. They're all connected. Syria is connected too. And so are some of the challenges in Asia. Uh, it, it is it, very important for us and for the European Union uh, to link the different problems of the world together and to have a common approach uh, to, if we can't resolve them, at least to make sure they don't uh, grow worse. Uh, what could happen if they grow worse? Is there a possibility of another Cold War or something similar? There's a possibility of another hot war. Uh, uh, this year is a hundred years since the start of World War I, which no one thought was going to happen. Uh, it was an accidental war. It had devastating consequences uh, for the world. And we have to do everything we can to prevent Uh, these different crises from getting out of hand and for a hot war to start. Uh, last question. Um, last week, I think, there were midterm elections in America and the we Democrats, noticed. yeah, we noticed, and uh, the Democrats lost pretty hard, didn't they? So, uh, is there anything going to change in the upcoming two years in America for your foreign policy? Well, uh, I noticed since I'm a Democrat, uh, but um, The Republicans will now be in the majority in the Senate and the House, both houses of our Congress. And so they will set the agenda. And I think it will be a test for them uh, if they want to elect a president, uh, a new president in 2016. President Obama's second term expires. He cannot run again. So there will be an election, uh, a new election for president. The Republicans will have to demonstrate that they can govern. Uh, and if they don't, I think it will be hard for them to elect a president. The Democrats will also have to demonstrate that they have learned the lessons of this election and perhaps uh, will govern differently. I think it is very important for President Obama to work closely with all members of Congress as one of the lessons that I hope is going to be learned. Uh, but at any rate, I think uh, both parties uh, have challenges in the next two years. One short-term benefit of this change in, in majority is Uh, that Trade Promotion Authority, which is the mechanism for Congress approving trade agreements, may end up passing uh, the Congress in these two years. And I think that would be a very good thing because I do think we want to be in a position to approve uh, the uh, TTIP uh, negotiation uh, with Europe if, in fact, uh, the, the agreement is concluded. Thank you very much.